Hey JJ here, hope you're doing well. So I have a bunch of quarters here that I'm gonna hunt through. Went to various banks to pick up a handful here and there. So it's not quite a full box, but it's 30 rolls. So this will be a $300 hunt. I'm hoping by going to different banks and picking up a few here, a few there, that I have a nice mix of different quarters. Hopefully come across some nice finds, some key dates. We'll love to see a W mint, that would be great maybe some errors maybe some proofs i don't know um but before i get started here i just want to thank everyone for checking out the channel checking out the videos as well as the shorts it's been great to see everyone get engaged and learn about quarters and coins and silver and some of those other things and as well as the errors um i've i've enjoyed showing and sharing that with everyone uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel. And we want to get these fun hunts out to everyone so they can see some of the cool things that they can pick up in their pocket change and coin rolls. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Let's start opening up a few of these. As you can see, I have my favorite ones here, these Loomis rolls. I tend to come across some nice coins when I get these Loomis rolls. So let's start with opening up a handful of these and then I'll go offline and see if we can come back with some awesome finds. All right, so when we open these up, what we're really looking for, and I have my little money clip here, what we're looking for is we're looking for some silver right off the bat. So we look at that edge and if we see that nice silvery looking edge, there's no copper, then uh, that's always a good sign. So let me go ahead and open up some of these real quick just to see if we can look at some edges to pick off some silver. All right, so don't want to see anything with that first one. Let's move on to the next one. I had a silver edge recently, but it was not an American quarter. It was a foreign quarter. All right, let's check out another. See if we can pick out some edge work here. Let's look for some edges. Nope. Let's go on. Let's move on to another one here. And I'll do one more here and then I'll go offline. Just trying to see if we can pick off some quick silver. Nope. This one is got some copper in there. All right. So nothing with those first three. Okay. I'm going to go offline. I'm going to hunt these and a couple more. Bring everyone in with some key updates. See you soon. All right, JJ back and went through the first third. So that's 10 rolls. I still have 20 remaining. Uh, I got a nice little spread here. I have a bunch of quarters here and then over to the right. I'm sort of getting these stacks ready to the right in groups of 10 and I'll get four stacks and then I'll start to re-roll them up. That part of the process, I don't catch on camera because that is not an exciting process. Uh, but is necessary. So let's take a, a look at some of the things that I have so far. Uh, so let's take a look here. I came across this Alabama quarter here. The Tuskegee Airmen, one of my favorite quarters to look for errors. I'm looking at the building in the back and one of the things here is that strike through. They call it the burning building. I have yet to come across that yet. And this is a normal uh, quarter in terms of I don't see any errors. I don't see a strike through. I don't see any uh, die chips on top of the airman's goggles. So let's take a look at this one under the microscope. Let me move some of these quarters over to the right. Get this thing loaded under the microscope. So we have it loaded under the microscope here. This is the regular one that I was just talking about. If you look at above the airman's goggles there, there's nothing there. But I came across a little low, tiny one that has a die chip right there in the back, right under the A in wars. As you can see right underneath there, there's a die chip. It's not, it's not huge, but uh, if you were to look at it in your hand with your naked eye you can still see it it's a shiny piece of metal there you can see it so so far just have one die chip i actually came across another one of these earlier in the year and the die chip was more in that center 
of the goggles down to the left. So you point is you're going to come across these. The die chips could be in various locations, but this is a known error on this particular quarter. It's the die chip above the goggle and that uh, die chip can be sort of anywhere above those goggles. So this is cool. I have another one here I can add to the mix of the die chip on the goggle, but this is my second one. So happy about that. So let me start on the next group here, the second set of 10, and I will bring everyone back in shortly. All right, see you in a minute. Hey, JJ back. Okay, I'm very, very excited, everyone. I had just come across a huge, huge group of quarters in these Loomis rolls. And I have been telling people for a long time, these Loomis rolls pay out big right here if you come across these in my in my opinion and from my experience these seem to contain the most w's that any of the rolls that i've ever come across have like these things these luminous rolls pay out and i think my strategy is paying off where i pick up only a small handful from different banks as opposed to buying boxes because i came across some fines and i already gave it away it's no secret but before I show these, these are my Angelou quarters. I don't know, there was a collection dump or something. But I had looked up uh, under the microscope all these my Angelous 2022. And I was just looking for some double earrings under the microscope. Didn't come across any, but just wanted to make sure that you guys look for that. Back to the important stuff. So. As I'm going through Loomis roll, it, it was two rolls in particular, two rolls, all kinds of the 2019 and 2020 quarters. Sorry, my gloves are filthy already. This is a tall grass prairie. Flip that over. It's a D mint. Okay, fine. Happens a lot. You come across them, a lot of them, P mint, D mint. It's not what you're looking for. Here's a San Antonio Missions 2019. Whoop. D mint. Okay, great. And then you come across another one. San Antonio Missions. This one was a P mint. All right, great. And then, where is it? Here it is. Another one. See if this thing can focus. W Mint. This is my second one that I found. Oh, the San Antonio Missions. W Mint. And I think the other one I got was from the, was from, uh, the Loomis brand too. So those Loomis rolls are paying out big. So if you come across those Loomis rolls, I think in my opinion, you have a pretty good shot of getting a W Mint. So, San Antonio Missions, my second one, like it, 2019, but I wasn't finished there. That was in one roll, and then I pick up another roll of Loomis, Tallgrass Prairie, V75 Prairie Mint Mark to the left. So this was the other Loomis roll, and in that same Loomis roll, Another V75 Privy W Mint Mark Salt River Bay, which I got one of these earlier in the year. So all of these are duplicates. Already found them. I have not found the Marsh Billings Rockefeller, and I haven't from the 2020 uh, group, and I haven't found the River of No Returns from the 2019. But all of the other ones I have found. So that's eight out of the ten designs I have found. But this is so exciting. That's three W's. And I still have a bunch of rolls to get through. I still have about ten remaining. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all of these coins on the desk here. And I'm going to open up. Looks like I have a few of these Loomis rolls. Looks like there's about four of these remaining here. I'm going to open up a couple of these together 
to see if we can pick off some W's together. JJ back. All right, so as I just said, I'm gonna open up some of these Loomis rolls together with everyone. We're gonna go through these because I think there could still be some more W's. As you can see, it's sealed up. So we're gonna go through it, see if we can pick off some more W's. We already have three on the board, which is amazing, unheard of for only 30 rolls. The average is about one per box. So one in every 50 tends to be the average. And yet in 30 rolls, not even a full 30 because we haven't finished all of them yet. We already got three on the board. One 2019 and two 2020s. All right, so we do our silver check. No silver. Okay, let's see what we have. Kind of go through these fast, really just looking for 2019s and 2020s. Okay, so here is a 2020 Weir Farm. Found one of these earlier in the year. Let's flip it over and we're going to focus on the space underneath In God We Trust. And we're looking for a W mint mark. Ooh. All right, that's P Mint, Philadelphia. No cigar there. All right, let's keep going. Okay, here we go. Here's another candidate. This is the one that still eludes me. I can't pin this one down. It's the Marsh Billings Rockefeller 2020. I would love to get this as a W Mint. Here we go. Denver, no cigar. Let's keep going. Sixty six. Look for some DDO action on that later. Okay, here we go. American Memorial Park 2019. This is the most valuable one of the 2019s. Some may even say of all 10. I think it's uh, actually neck and neck this one with the Marsh Billings as far as comps are concerned. I'm seeing these can go between 20 and 25 bucks. But let's see, looking for that W. And that is a Denver, okay. 67, look for we got a Delaware. I'll look for a Spitting Horse Error later. What else we got? Look for some doubling on that one. Twenty twenty one. George Washington crossing the Delaware. Don't see any crown errors. Look for some doubling on that older one. All right, that's one Loomis. Let's uh, let's open up another Loomis. See if we can get some more W action. Man, three on the board. I hope I didn't corner the market on the Ws. My goodness, that's a lot though. Let's see here. Okay, same process. Let's go through these. Really just eyeballing for those 2019s and 2020s. And it's really as simple as this, you guys. I mean, you come across 2019s and 2020s in your pocket change all the time. Just take a few extra seconds, flip it over, see if it's got that W mint. That's a Delaware. I want to look at an error on that later. See if it has that W mint. See if you can convert that to 15 bucks. This is a Nebraska quarter. I want to look for a leaky bucket and snow on the roof later. Okay, here's another 2019. What we got? That's a Denver Mint. Ooh, here's the bat. American Samoa. Bat quarter. There's a, uh, a strike through error too. The bat's eyes, they call it the blind bat. That can go for hundreds of dollars. 
if you ever come across that. All right, but let's see, does this have the, this is a 2020, so it would have the V75 Privy, if it is. Oh, I flipped that wrong. And I flipped it wrong again. All right, let's see. This, Denver. I hope I didn't cool off. This is uh, um, Bessie Coleman 2023. I'll check for some error later for die chips on the plane or the duplicate EC initials. Oh, here's a, a San Antonio Missions. Here's a 2019. Let's see if this has the W. Nope, Denver. All right, we got a couple more Loomis. I want to get one more here so everyone can see it. Again, all these are sealed up. Looking for silver. Silver uh, quarters are pretty tough to come by, but I believe I found one in a Loomis roll. I think it was like a 34. And then I found one, a 42 in pocket change, which is really cool. Someone spent some 90% silver quarters. All right, let's see. Nothing. Oh, here goes a, a Memorial American Memorial Park 2019. What we got here? That is uh, Philadelphia P. Okay, here we go. San Antonio Missions. Oh crap! What is that? That's a Denver. Dropping quarters. Okay, here we go. Salt River Bay. We already found one today. Let's flip it. Denver. What's this quarter? 73. There's another Delaware. I'll check on later. Oh, here we go. Another Salt River Bay. Denver. Okay, one more Loomis roll. And then there's a couple other rolls. I'll finish those offline and come back with the final recap. I would really like to get this in front of you guys so you guys can see it. It's the same time that I see it. All right, let's see. Nope. There. 2009 Puerto Rico quarter. That's a cool one. Arizona. Let me put that to the side and look for an extra cactus area later. There's also on that one, there's also a speared A, the very uh, last letter of Arizona. If you see like a die crack going through it, that's a speared A. So that's something that you can look for. Come on, where's the 2019 and 2020s? Look for some doubling on that one. That was a 65. Yeah, there's nothing in this one. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, so no no 2019s and 2020s in that row. So it looks like I got the three W's out off camera. Uh, I'm gonna have to do more of these live on camera so everyone can see it. All right, I'm gonna finish out the rest of the hunt and I'll bring everyone in with the final recap. See you in a minute. All right, JJ back. Okay, didn't find anything with those few remaining rolls. So let's recap. The hunt, again, started with $300 of quarter rolls. That's 30 rolls at 10 bucks a pop. And my strategy looks like it paid off of going around and getting just a handful of rolls from different locations as opposed to buying the big boxes. First little find. Let me zoom on in on this. Maybe we might be able to see it without the use of the microscope. You see at the top of the goggle there, that little shiny piece of metal, that's that die chip. And we can see it here fairly well under that A. Okay, so that's the die chip error on the goggle. As I said before, they can be pretty much anywhere around that goggle, but you're wanting to fixate your eyes on that area of the coin as well as that uh, building there in the back. The other error is that strike through of that building. It's called the burning building. That one can sell for a lot if you come across it. So that's our first find of the hunt. And then I just went on a W frenzy, opened up a couple of uh, Loomis rolls and just uh, got some really, really nice finds. So this is my second tall grass prairie. It's a beautiful design, Kansas. Has the V75 privy, privy mark to commemorate the end of World War II, 75 years. 20, actually let's do the other 2020 Salt River Bay. V75 privy to the left, W Mint. And then the 2019, it's got some circulation nicks there but it's a w nonetheless san antonio missions beautiful all right so that's die chip plus three w's and 30 rolls that is not bad at all all right thank you guys so much for tuning in really appreciate it if you haven't already please hit that like and subscribe button and be on the lookout for more videos as well as my short videos where you can see what to look for in your pocket change, coin rolls, and beyond. All right. Thank you so much and have a good one.